Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Aquarius, for September and see what's going to happen in your life, all right? Now, Aquarius, when it comes to consuming tarot readings for your zodiac sign, do more than just your one. Check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Aquarius, to get the full understanding of what's happening in your life. And check out the top right-hand corner of your screen, because I'll leave a link, Aquarius, to my monthly pick-a-card tarot reading for September that you might enjoy. So let's begin your tarot reading here today and see what's going to be happening for you. What is your tarot? horoscope for today Aquarius all right and let me know how this tarot reading resonates in the comments below queen of swords energy coming in for you okay 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 Aquarius all right I see planning I feel like you've been in solitude for quite some time you haven't really been uh too vulnerable with too many people I feel like there's a lot that's been going on internally I also want to be saying this message here Aquarius is just like you might already be aware of this, all right, depending on how perceptive you are of your social circle, but I feel as if there's like this desire of like this, someone has like this desire of connecting to you. And this is not like, oh, please, 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 Aquarius, don't make this about being like an ex wanting to talk to you that's blocked you for five years or anything like that. I feel like it's someone in your current social circle that has like this desire of reaching out and connecting to you more, all right? But I feel like they don't want to disturb your peace. They don't want to disturb your silence that's like the first impression that i get with this here so you might already know who this person is that is having this longing because that's how i would just i don't use the word longing in my everyday life aquarius girl please <laughs> like but that is the word that comes to mind is like this sense of like someone longing uh for you aquarius but i feel like it's just the sense of where they don't want to disturb your peace i feel like everyone your social circle generally right now is pretty receptive of you or where it's like you they acknowledge that there's something internally that you're going through working through here yeah and then we pull a court card right afterwards knight of wands in a social way you would see the court cards as people right now knight of wands for you let's make this introspective because not everything has to deal with people right aquarius knight of wands energy i do get this sense of like lightening up when is the last time you let you went out for air got gasps of air breaths of air here eight of cups here as well see i like the direction of where things are going for you aquarius energetically things are building up in a very beautiful way like your destination in the far future here right with that sun energy your far future is like the destination is absolutely beautiful now how do you get from point a to point b right because i can tell you all these positive things about what i could be seeing for you aquarius but how do you get to that destination all right internally i feel like you already have been putting in the work i hear like this message of just like giving yourself a little bit more grace in that way aquarius where it's like you don't have to always like every single day like dissect something internally about yourself of how you work i'm being shown like a, a, a clock or like a radio and you're like you're pulling it apart or like a computer you're pulling it apart just to understand how it works and i feel like that's what you're going through right now is like you're pulling something apart trying to understand how it works give yourself more grace in that all right i feel like internally everything's spot on here now externally for you knight of wands let's go into that deeper the world card coming in here with this page of cups again page of cups talks about new people entering your life here and the deepening of current social connection so i'm going to just say that message again for you Aquarius, where it does feel like someone has like some longing of connecting to you. All right. Now, going aside from that there. All right. Aquarius, you are so close to beginning a new chapter of your life here. I feel like you are extremely, extremely, extremely close to really have some momentum happening in your life. But I feel as like Page of Cups represents new opportunities coming in as well. But I feel like there's like some final things that you have to like wrap up from some final things you have to walk away from to ace of pentacles to get to your destination to get to these new goals these new aspirations for yourself here so this is what we need to, you know at the end of the day like this is under your eight of cups as i was saying like you will get the, your destination is absolutely beautiful right your destination is the ace of pentacles where you are abundant but now we get into the actual game plan for you Aquarius so like what you need to be doing next here I do feel like there's a sense of like needing to finish wrap something up needing to close off sun energy all right so what I was trying to say in not so subtle words Aquarius was this implication where it's like I feel like it's time for you to get some sun i think i said that it's like when was the last time you went outside aquarius it's time to lighten up it's time for you to smell the roses a little bit it's time for you to start enjoying life 
a little bit and or at least put yourself outside rather than always being in this queen there's a time and a place to be a queen of swords but sometimes it's time it's important to disconnect from the queen of swords and go out to a cafe and drink a coffee even though if you don't feel social you still go out to that cafe and drink that coffee there all right there's something that you need to change up in your routine aquarius that by adding something new to your routine or having a routine might be the new thing for you it's like developing something that you do on a daily ritual basis i feel that's out of your norm it helps you get to that destination all right that's how i see this energy as it's like you have to start spice it's it's time to like break your normal routine that's all i keep on getting with this here it's just this it's time to yeah, I'm going to move on from that because I'm like hyper focusing. Anything else for you, Aquarius? Five of Cups. I mean, of course, I'm hyper focusing. And then we have the Five of Cups where it's like not crying over spilled milk, not being overtly focused on one specific thing, Aquarius. All right. It's time to change your views. It's time to change your vision because things, it feels like to me, Spirit's trying to give this impl imply to you, Aquarius, of where if you were to shift your vision just a little bit right because as the five of cups if you look closely aquarius there's one cup being filled right behind you it's like spirits trying to capture your attention and be like all right stop being so focused on one specific theme thing here if you get too lost as the queen of swords in your introspection into your own personal work into your own what have you darling you're going to be missing a very powerful new opportunity for yourself that's completely different but you're not going to be seeing it in your current comfort level in your current perception here all right so in a social way i get like this impression of where new people new uh new people or yeah new people entering your life aquarius but it does require you to change up a setting like adding like a you know going to the grocery store every single week as your routine now taking away from a social point again because i don't like to make my readings too about like people um for you opportunity wise i feel like it's really important for you to all i get is just like breaking patterns breaking the routine from your normal breaking from the everyday all right and that's how you get to your goals here it's like you the answer to your writer's block isn't to write more the answer to your writer's block isn't to write more aquarius mm -mm. so what's coming up for you because i do feel like there's like this there's like an elephant in the room for your energy here and i want to address it it's not like a bad elephant aquarius it's like this it's like someone has like a you know when you know someone's like bought something for you we all have that one person in our life where it's like they can't ever if they bought a gift for you they have to give it to you immediately and they always like show it and they're they show the excitement in their face um beforehand so it's like you already know something's up that's how i see this energy as it's like this there's like this excitement of an energy that's why it's like being told to like switch things up change things up so let's see why because it's like i'm trying to dissect it aquarius but of course with y'all's energy it's so hard to dissect y'all's energy here i don't know what it is with me trying to understand an Aquarian's energy but of course we get this page of wands for you here Aquarius all right so pages represents news all right new energy coming in new opportunity here of course that's what you've been looking for but what does this opportunity look like nine of pentacles personal endeavors yeah personal endeavors queen of pentacles here <clears throat> all right here Aquarius so I feel like for you, this new energy, like this, <laughs> that spirit really wants you to change up here. It's like you have this, you know, it's interesting that you have the page of wands where it's like also emphasizing that newness. But with the nine of pentacles here, it's like choosing to change up how you either like make your money, how you approach a project here, Aquarius. All right. By listening to your gut about something here, about just like finally putting energy into a project that you've usually never made the time for right that becomes extremely profitable for you i see you really sitting pretty here aquarius in the coming days like if you change up your routine if you change up how you usually go about things so this could just be adding something to your normal repertoire towards your normal routine about something like i feel like that's a direct reflection on like how you increase your flow of energy whether that energy is through that's the energy the new flow of energy in your space is people or finances or money right because money is energy as well i feel like that's how you get not only new energy to come in 
but just like an, an increase in that Aquarius, all right? It seems like some opportunities are going to be coming in through you exploring five of four of cups rather. And it's something that you've been ignoring here, Aquarius. So it's like, maybe you've been sitting on an idea for like, you know, I'll just use myself as an example, like a podcast. I've been planning everything for a podcast, but I have been avoiding putting in the action of just finally committing to doing the steps of a podcast for a long time. Not anymore. It's been in the process now, but I feel like that's the thing for you. It's like Aquarius, like you've, you sat in the back of your mind where it's just like, man, I need to do X, Y, and Z and finally get something going, but you haven't made the time or to add it to your normal routine. It's like you have the awareness. You just haven't really, it's like you have the file. You just haven't downloaded it or unzipped it yet. I don't know why I feel like getting a uh, tech talk with y'all, but that's how I see this energy as Aquarius. All right, let's get into some Oracle cards for you. Yeah, the mountain goat. There's something out of balance. And <laughs> okay, if any other card could come in, Aquarius, that confirms what I was trying to express. There's something out of balance in your life, Aquarius. So do what you need to do to correct it there, right? That's what I was trying. That's, that's the Oracle card, best Oracle card I could be pulling for you because it's like there's something that needs to change, something that needs to switch up, Aquarius. And you already know what you need to do. I feel like this message more so comes in as like a sense of like I'm becoming like your accountability buddy here where it's just like all right Aquarius like you know what happened to this x y and z that you said that you wanted to do you know you say you want to do x y and z like let's take a look what have you done this week to feed towards that have you have you put any effort towards hump back whale you know when's the last time that you picked up your instrument right the reason why I say this because this card says music is essential to your healing and well-being Aquarius whether it's singing playing an instrument or just listening right so it is like when's that last time that you picked up that instrument when's the last time that you took that moment to reset you know some of you might have been doing some shadow work for a long time now it's time for you to get yourself out of it all right let's do some other oracle cards I don't feel drawn to do any more animal Aquarius all right but it's so in <laughs> y'all's energy Aquarius is always just so fun for me to explore I never know quite what to expect with y'all but always by the I always am left clueless during it but it's always by the end that I stop uh feeling so so much like an idiot I'm like oh everything's starting to come together and that's why I kept on getting all these weird impressions right so it's like during the process, I just feel extremely crazy. But at the end of it, the result is beautiful. Fools embrace transmuting pain, transmuting pain, fools embrace. So for example, Aquarius, you might have been doing a lot of personal development, personal work, seeing a therapist, shadow work, darling, right? It's, t you know, there's a time and a place to do the healing. And then you then have to put that healing in action. You know what I mean? So Aquarius, for example, if maybe you have like bad relationships with narcissists due to like your mother or something, you know, just as an example, right? And so you went through all your, so much of your life, a period of your life where you went through like, you know, unpacking what it was like to live with a narcissist or to deal with a toxic ex or something. You do that healing. And I'm not saying that you go and get in a relation, new relationship with a new narcissist to see if you know how to handle them better, but it's like... I feel like it's time for you to no longer heal, but put that healing, put that personal development into action. That's the only way I can put that, all right? <laughs> of course, I haven't seen this card before. You got the Metox card, repairing the body, mind, and spirits. It's, of course you would get this card, Aquarius. Hello? The Metox. You've been detoxing, and now it's time for you to have your Metox. Like, you put in all this work. You, didn't, you did all this effort of cleaning up and all that, and now it's time to actually put all these efforts and go outside with it. And then the ego sublimination here, vanishing mirror. Okay, Aquarius. All right. So we're dealing with your ego here. We're dealing with... I feel as if there's a part of your ego that is really gripping onto an old way of how you went about seeing things or doing things. I feel like you're really gripping onto like a specific type of routine and you're not budging. So I want to be asking you or challenging you, uh, Aquarius to embrace that new fool's journey for yourself, to change up your routine entirely, to stop staying in your comfort zone, put yourself in uncomfortable situations because it's time for you to finally transmute all the pain that you've been going through 
into whatever it is that we're tapping into for you. It could be a business, it could be a project, it could be something with writing, it could be something creatively artistic wise, or it could be something as simple as Aquarius of where it's just like you are able to go outside and connect to people again because you no longer are scared of being hurt, right? So it's going to vary for all of you, but that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you today, Aquarius. Thank you so much for this privilege. Check out the comments below uh, for my monthly pick a card reading and I'll connect to you later. Bye, darling.